and at least we have full employment. The young are provided with useful skills, opportunities to progress, should they live long enough to take advantage of them. You might almost say that war keeps us out of trouble. Calculate. Uh, Counselor Crested, just the man to contribute to our little discussion. Not now, I'm afraid. A thousand apologies for this interruption. I can see that you're busy with our friend here. Oh, do excuse us, Naturals. We must continue this fascinating conversation some other time. You look flushed, Counselor. I'm in rather a hurry. We've been summoned to an emergency meeting. We? The Council. The Council, of course. I'll see to it that you're not disturbed. Thank you. And I'd appreciate it if you could deal with any inquiries on my behalf. That is what personal assistance are for. Have you, um, any idea what the emergency meeting is to be about? Only that it cannot be discussed with anyone outside the Council itself. Even with members of the House of Congress? Even with the most trusted members of the House of Congress. This is not a place to speak freely. You know that. You're right. Too many politicians within earshot. Come to my apartment later. Uh, treat it as a briefing session after the routine business of the day. I'll bring my note back. Until later. Now there goes a man who carries the weight of Scarra on his shoulders. Councillor Quested copes admirably with the pressures of high office. I feel certain that you'll cope far better when you attain those giddy heights yourself. Did you want something, my good thing? Well, more than a few moments of your time to finalise the syllabus for your son's further education. It's a matter of small concern to me what you teach my son, as long as it satisfies his thirst for knowledge and prepares him adequately for the future. I'm paying you an obscene amount of money to give him a start in life that most children would kill for. What matters to me is that Master Davros receives the best possible education a boy of undoubted intellectual ability could wish for. <laughs> the money isn't important. I'd be happy to offer my services free of charge. Never let it be said that I owe you anything, my Grindin. As to the syllabus, discuss it with my son. He'll tell you what interests him and what doesn't. It's getting cold out here. You should go into the house. The light will face you. You worry too much, Tasse. Your mother will blame me if anything happens to you or your brother while she's away from home. If either of you falls My ill, mother wouldn't notice if anything happened to me. She has eyes only for Davros. That's not true. Two years younger than me, but also precious Davros is allowed to do what he wants. Come and go as he pleases, whilst I must obey the rules. Come here, go there, do this, do that. Davros is still a boy. At 18, you're almost a woman.